Once upon a time, a record company had a and people in it who would take a chance, make a decision, use their gut reaction, sign a group, and see what they could do with it, okay? That was oh, a long time ago. It's not that way anymore. All decisions about who gets signed and what happens to the record are made by these drooling little mid-range accountants. And everything is based on the numbers game in there. And the taste of the accountants is what is ruling the, the mass media. It's all just the dollars and cents uh, exchange. And if you want to make music that you believe in, the chances of doing it on um, a major label basis are nil because they're all so frightened. Everybody's there trying to protect their job. And it's, easy, it's easier to look like a, um, a wise executive by saying no to something if it's just the most minutely uh, fringoid in terms of content. No. No. The horrible part of it is the artists who are feeding this ecological chain stop making songs they believe in and start making product that they know will be arable. And they change the style of what they're doing to fit within the narrow framework that is the contemporary accepted norm for suitable radio sounding music. And anything that comes outside of that norm doesn't go on the air. You don't hear about it, you don't know about it. Right now, there's probably hundreds of artists in the United States making great sounds, great music. You'll never hear it. You'll never find out about it. You'll never find out about it.